Hello friends, today we'll learn about medicine and pharmaceutical drugs. <laughs> Careful buddy, you often take medicine or pharmaceutical drugs when you're sick. It is a substance intended for use in the diagnosis, cure, mitigation, treatment, or prevention of disease. Earlier medicines were made from natural sources, such as plants, animals, bacteria, and minerals. Nowadays, natural and chemical, both the sources are used to prepare them. An ancient Indian physician, Sashruta, first developed the concept of diagnosis and prognosis. It is believed that Hippocrates was the person who discovered medicine, so he's considered the father of modern medicine. He has written the Hippocratic Corpus, which is a collection of around 60 medical works. Ah, you cannot prepare a medicine for any random plant. Pharmaceutical companies do a lot of research and testing in order to make a new drug. Let's have a look at the steps. Research. Scientists study the germs that cause a disease or what makes a symptom occur. They then run possible experiments in the lab to see what chemicals may work. Testing on animals. Scientists examine how much of a drug is absorbed into the blood, how the drug is broken down chemically in the body, and many other things. Then, they'll submit application to the FDA for approval to start testing on humans. Testing on humans, it happens in three phases. Phase one. Here, the drug is tested for safety on a small group of 20 to 100 people. Phase 2. Here, the drug is tested on 100 to 300 people to see how well the drug works. Phase 3. Here, the drug is tested on over 1,000 people to see the effectiveness and side effects of the drugs. New Drug Application after successful trials, the pharmaceutical company applies to the FDA for a new drug application. FDA Approval After FDA approval, the drug can be sold. If the FDA grants an approval, it means the agency has determined that the benefits of the product outweigh the risks for the intended use. You know, making a new drug takes so many years and usually costs millions of dollars. Let's have a look at the types of drugs. Most legal drugs are of two categories. Prescription. These drugs require approval from a doctor to buy. You cannot just purchase and consume. Even chemists cannot sell these without the valid prescription. Over-the-counter. OTC drugs can be purchased without a prescription. Some pain relievers, cough syrup, and a few sinus medicines are examples of these. Medicines can be administered by a number of ways, like pills, shots, creams, inhalers, eye drops, and through an intravenous, etc. Most drugs have some side effects. It's always recommended to read the label of any drugs you take and follow the instructions, doses, and warnings. If you experience any type of side effects, stop taking the drug and contact your doctor. Now, you know a lot about the medicine and pharmaceutical drugs. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.